If you're into robotics, there was only one place to be this month, in Orobo, in the French city of Lyon. It's one of Europe's biggest showcase for innovations in the field. It features robots from around the world that help out, work, or just plain amuse. While most robots are pretty advanced, some make use of low-tech too. It's a very simple technology based on wires and plastic parts, very light, and the, the drive technology is completely taken away from the moving arm. That's the new idea. Some robots are built to aid communication, while some make it possible to be in two places at once. Well, almost. Jazz by the French company Gustai is a so-called telepresence robot. It could perhaps be used in the medical world in order to allow doctors to transport themselves around their patients or for the family to remain in contact with the patient. It could be used for security to inspect sites from a distance, dangerous sites. It could also be used to help elderly people stay in their homes for longer because it allows carers to get close and to be in contact with people more easily. But does a robot designed to help people need to look like a person? There are differing views. While some researchers are purely interested in the functions, in countries such as Japan and South Korea, looks count too. Its name is Kibble, and it can express its face expression. So it can co communicate with the people naturally, and it can sing and dance. So to sing, it can do lip sync, and uh, it can uh, follow the motions of what I do. On a mechanical level, we have tried to closely copy the structure of the human body with regards to the bones, the articulations, and here every string that you see corresponds to a muscle in the human body, which means that its movements are much closer to ours, more natural, and also we have a robot which is more supple and elastic in fact. Italian company ITT has designed a robot that can follow people around and, if necessary, lend a helping hand. For them, it was essential to have a robot with an appealing appearance. This project aims to create a robot companion, a robot able to live together with us doing the same things we do, and one that would be able to give us help. So the choice of a human-esque appearance is necessary, because the world around us is made at this scale, so the human body measures are a perfect fit. Robotics is a fast-developing field. Assisted procedures are thought likely to be more present in our daily life, whether it's in industry or in the home. Scientists predict robots will be used to help people with disabilities, to help remote working or just entertain.